So belief in Allah Rabbul Izzah to the level where your heart is set free from the fears of ordinary men. I was in, I, I was in Hajj with our dear brother here and I met a young man from, from South Africa. And he said he's unemployed and he's come here to Hajj. So I said, Akhi, where did you get the money? Because naturally, you, you know, he need money to come to Hajj. He goes, Allah, Allah does things with means, without means, and against means. Sometimes Allah does it through means. Like you have money, it's a means. Sometimes there's no means, Allah Rabbul Izzah does it. Sometimes there's no way on God's earth that it would happen, Allah Rabbul Izzah still does it. So he says, Allah Rabbul Izzah does it with means, without means, or against means. So to believe like that, do you know what it does to you? Like you become free from the shackles of humanity. You're no longer afraid of anything. Every other man is afraid. Where am I going to get food for my kids from? You say, Everyone else is thinking who will pay the mortgage? Who will, who will pay the rent? And who will pay the fees? And, and you are thinking Allah Rabbul Izzah will provide. One of the brothers was in a difficult financial situation. So they made dua. And next day, a lady comes into the house and knocking. Uh, I want to buy this product that you have. So, uh, Alhamdulillah, ni'ma ahlan wa sahlan, sit down. So the person sat and in the sitting, bought 20,000 worth of goods. And then, so the man asks, how did you, how did you hear about us? He says, she said, the universe sent me to you. The universe sent me. He said, no, Allah sent you to me. Do you see? So when you believe to the extent that your reliance is so on Allah Rabbul Izzah, it frees you. It liberates you. Nothing matters. As in, nothing scares you. Like Yusuf alayhi salam. You'll go to jail. He said, As-sijnu ahabbu ilayya. Prison is more dear, like more beloved to me than, than, than what you guys are promising me. Hunger, khalas, Allah Rabbul Izzah will feed me. Sickness, Allah Rabbul Izzah will cure me. Guidance, Allah Rabbul Izzah will guide me. إِنِّي مُهَاجِرٌ إِلَىٰ رَبِّي سَيَهْدِينَ I will migrate to Allah Rabbul Izzah. He will guide me. So belief like that, that is the requirement of belief for the help of Allah Rabbul Izzah to come. So when Sa'd ibn Abi Waqas took the plunge in the river, there's no doubt in his head that I might sink, I might not sink. Be on haqq. Be on haqq. Allah Rabbul Izzah says, In Tansurullah Yansurkum. So long as you're helping Allah Rabbul Izzah, He will help you. As in, so long as you're on Haqq, and so long as you're going to the cause of, of what is the truth and the cause of Deen, your reliance is on Allah Rabbul Izzah. He will help me. And the stories are so many that Allah Rabbul Izzah. Divine help has come to the believers. So the first thing is strengthen your beliefs. And Iman increases with obedience of Allah Rabbul Izzah. And it increases with the remembrance of Allah Rabbul Izzah. The closer you are to Allah Rabbul Izzah and in, in your obedience, the more Iman and belief and faith your heart becomes filled with. The second point, be helpers of Allah Rabbul Izzah. Be helpers of the religion of Allah Rabbul Izzah. And Allah will help you.